<laughs> oh, you don't do that right now. I don't yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd just go ahead and have one. It scared me. They caught me short. No, no, that's fine. Yeah, just a, a, a brief announcement. It was it yesterday. Day before. Day before. Day before. Um, the, the one main break was out on Stone Hedge, and it was a very um, large one, six inch rain blue, and it was complicated by the fact that it was they had to go down, found the pipe twelve feet down. They had to rush up to Newburgh and get special sure and make sure that the workers themselves were um, safe. Normally done by the town of Goshen Ward and sewer department, but because of the massive size and the depth of it, we had to go out to an outside contractor. It was complicated by further with the erosion of the water around it, the pole, the telephone pole, which supplied probably 90% of Stone, Stone Edge uh, with power. Had that collapsed, there would have been a major catastrophe out there. So my praises to the water department and uh, Joe Coffin for getting right on top of that. The water was restored at approximately six o'clock, uh, which was marvelous because it took most of the day to find the, to find the pipe. So it was a very, very expensive water main break, but unfortunately, but I'm so, sorry, Lou, I was going to tell you before Christmas, it's going to be an expensive one. But uh, thank goodness they got it back up in the power. And only four homes, throughout, even with the size of the break, only four homes were without water for, for, for a couple of hours. So it was a great job by the water. Well, I'd like to thank uh, Ken for going out and checking everything out. It was it, it, it was a significant uh, uh, 14 feet, uh, but it will it will be expensive to when we recap all the dollars. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, Brenda, if you want to talk about the uh, now what we've got here, so you get recorded. We're, we have a we're going to have to use the mic. That's how we record all our minutes. So if you just uh, Oh, use my you, yeah, use our attorney's mic. So you can you can anywhere you want to sit or talk. It's fine. Right there. Right. Well, okay. You don't want that. Well, thank you very much for having me here tonight. I just wanted to, um, to let you know that we've presented um, the town with a renewal proposal which we provided also a copy to your attorney. Um, and the process is we um, had to provide you a lot of documentation, and that's to show that we are in compliance um, with all state regulations and the franchise agreement itself. So the next part of the process would be for us, for me and your attorney, to go through the renewal negotiations. What I've provided with him is a draft, um, but the next step is I'm going to go through your existing agreement and kind of match it up and explain to him where, like the, the state rules might be referenced where in your agreement they might be spelled out or, so, or um, something like that. Um, then the next process after that, once we get an agreement that um, it's good for you, good for us, then we would set a public hearing which would also allow public comment to be fed into that because it's to meet the needs and interests of both you and us. Um, then after that, um, once everything is agreed to, um, then we would sign and I would send an application to the Public Service Commission, which that takes approximately three months to be approved. Um, so the process could take, the short end would probably be six months for us to get in, be into a new agreement if we moved along quickly. Um, I have no control over the Public Service Commission, so whenever it gets on the agenda, then that new agreement would be effective. Um, and that's pretty much in a nutshell what the renewal process would be like for us. How many years do they are these contracts for? We ask for 10. Um, the state recently has approved 15. The one that we're currently operating under is actually um, expired, but we're obligated to operate underneath right. under that. Temporary operating Correct. Right. Right. They do them every six months. That was a five-year bond. No, it was 10. The original was 10. Okay. Is this retroactive? Which retroactive? The new one. The new one? Uh, we'd be operating under the old, the new one would kick in. Right, once the Public Service Commission approved it, that's their date. So the no, I'm, I'm, I'm short answer, no. Okay, but there is no lapse in our coverage. Yeah. Is, no. Uh, yeah, okay. These very difficult times for income, so I'm only concerned right. about right. right. the lapse of income. Don't nope. care about service. Okay, any other questions for the board? I'd like to thank you for coming. The uh, What we intend to do, we have a meeting on the 16th. Uh, George, myself, and our attorney uh, with a... John Figliosi. Okay. And uh, to come up with a proposal for the board, we'll present it to the board and see where they're at. 
get authorization for turning yourself down and, and negotiate all this, come back to the board. And, but that's the protocol we think we're going to follow. Okay. Okay? Very good. Well, thank you very much. Thank Have you. Have a safe trip home. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to say for the uh, public that's here tonight, the, Normally we have work sessions on Monday, and uh, we have uh, regular, more of our formal meetings on Thursday. Um, since we were really so long and hard working and putting our budget together this year, we've kind of got behind a on a few things. And so, um, this is kind of a continual, I mean, we're only going to have two meetings this month. And so what we're going to be doing a little bit tonight is a continuation of a normal work session, if you will, um, with a discussion amongst the board on certain things and whatnot. Okay. Um, the first item that we have on the agenda is a uh, to discuss a request by Timber Trail LLC for a, a PAC special use permit. Um, on Monday night, uh, our attorney for the town kind of gave us a format to follow. And ultimately, we will communicate this in the form of a uh, resolution to the uh, applicant. The town board has discussed this following the review of the concept with us. And I would just like to take a moment or two and to uh, review what I think I heard and, uh, from the board. And then if they'd like to chime in, fine. Uh, but in terms of brevity of time, for this kind of rev. The first thing I'd like to do is I'd like to go back to the section 97-15 of our code and uh, talk about the plant adult community, the criteria that we had put in, the, in our code. Uh, when you get down to item 6, which is the pack must be connected to existing town water and sewer districts or must be included in a new water sewer district created by the town in existing water and sewer districts that the town must approve an extension thereof. Okay. When we looked at this, um, and we're discussing it initially, one of the things the town has is a uh, kind of a poor history on water and sewer districts. Uh, we've, two of our water districts if we've taken over under duress. One of them, the last one, I remember it had uh, boil water uh, citations put on everybody's door because the chlorination, the water was totally inadequate and out of control. And we took it over under an emergency basis. So two of our four water districts were done that way. Also uh, in Hamiltonian Park, initially it had a sewer district there that went defunct and uh, it was finally it was turned in and, and hooked into the village. So there's, based on our history, there's a reluctance on the board to uh, create a new standalone water and sewer district that the town is going to ultimately be responsible for. I'd also like to say, and I've said this to the public before, that well over half of my time, and that of Ken Newbold, who's my co-chair on water and sewer, over half our time is not spent on town business, but is rather spent on water and sewer business. And uh, you don't have to read much in the paper about all the, the goings on between us and the village just based on trying to uh, uh, reach an agreement with them on use of their sewer plant as a village and the rates and whatnot. And all the demonstrations that our people have had from Hamiltonian Park and Arcadia Hills at the village hall. So it is a big issue. There is a reluctance on our part. To guide the board since we really need, I think, some guidance on this. We have requested of the town engineer their opinion, their opinion on this. What do they see relative to this applicant and the, the terrain, et cetera, et cetera. So we have one more data point from them relative to making this decision. Our decision of reluctance is only based on experience. We need one based on what, it, what is actually uh, uh, available to develop at the site itself. That's the one of the area of major concern. 
There are a couple of other areas in, of concern that are really not totally associated with the, the code, but they're, they're areas that the board discussed at the time.